Welcome back lottery fans. Today I'm back with a secret pick four lottery strategy that I've been trying out for the last few weeks and it's hitting as always in several states. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and share it with you like I always do. So you can go ahead and give it a try in your state. I'm going to show you two examples today. I'm going to do, do, do two different states so you can see how this works. And you're definitely going to want to head and try this on your own. Uh, it's a little bit of a different twist on some of the rundowns we've done in the past. Uh, it's a fun one. I, I enjoy doing this one. Uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll do that. And then we're going to go ahead and do our scratch-off ticket as well. We are on the $5 Who's Your Lottery scratch-off tickets again. Uh, this one was a new one I just picked up just yesterday, the $500 Frenzy. So I'm excited to try and do that one. But let's go ahead and jump into it. As I said, we're going to do two different examples. Uh, and we're going to need our Pick 4 Rundown Tic-Tac-Toe worksheet for this. If you don't already have this worksheet, it's completely free. You can download it from LotteryPredictor.com. It's in the resources section. So definitely check out the link below or just go to LotteryPredictor.com. Uh, this is the URL uh, down here at the bottom here. Uh, and just head over to the resources section. Not only will you find this Pick 4 Rundown worksheet, you'll find lots of other free stuff you can download. Let's go ahead and do our first state. Our first state we're going to do today is North Carolina, and specifically the North Carolina Evening Lottery. Now we just need the one result for this, uh, and we're going to start with the base date of 4-6. Now I highly recommend you uh, mixing around, trying a few different base dates uh, to see which one's working in your state. But that uh, result for the Pick 4 North Carolina Evening Lottery on the 6th of April was a 5729. Now we start by doing this rundown uh, by putting that number top left to bottom right in our base grid. So we do five, seven, two, nine, filling it in directly, uh, diagonally across down there. Now this is where it gets a little bit fun. This is where it's a little bit different from what we've done in the past. Uh, this is a take on the plus three minus three rundown. But instead of doing columns, what we're going to do is we're going to do sides uh, and blank numbers on the sides of that diagonal here. So everything blank on the right hand side, we're going to add three to it. Everything blank on the left hand side, we're going to minus three. Now that's, that may sound a little confusing, but let me run through it so you can follow it. And then of course I'll do another example after this so you can uh, see that example again. So all these blank spots, we're going to start with the number here and add three to it as we go along. So we start with the top line, five. Five plus three is eight. And then we take the eight. Eight plus three uh, is 11, so we take the one. And one plus three is four, like so. Next line down, seven, we've got two blank spots on the right, so seven plus three is 10, so take zero. Zero plus three is three. And finally, two, two plus three is five, we put in that one there. So that's all of our right-hand blank spots filled in. Now our left-hand blank spots, we're gonna do the minus three. So we start with this seven, seven minus three is four, we have a four in there. Now we go down to two, two minus three in lottery numbers is a nine, so put a nine there. 9 minus 3 is 6, put a 6 there. Once again, down on the bottom line, 3 blank spots on the left, we're going to do minus 3's. 9 minus 3 is 6, 6 minus 3 is 3, and 3 minus 3 is 0. Simple as that. So that's how to fill out the base grid. And don't worry if you didn't quite follow along, I'll do another uh, state example after this one so you can see. Now we're going to go ahead and use our mirror numbers to fill in the translated grid. We do that by looking at each individual number. We look at on the top line of the mirror numbers and take the number underneath it in the blank spot here. So five becomes a zero, eight becomes a three, one becomes a six, and four becomes a nine. Four becomes a nine, seven becomes a two, zero becomes a five, three becomes an eight, six becomes a one, nine is a four, two is a seven, five is a zero, and finally last nine, zero, is a five, three is a two, sorry, three is a seven. I'm not even mapping right. Three is an eight. Almost made three different mistakes there. Sorry, that's an eight. Six is a one, and nine is a four, like so. All right, so simple as that. Now we can go ahead and fill out four suggested numbers. These are numbers we should, that you should start playing if you're in the North Carolina, if you're doing the evening uh, lottery. And the ones I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use our common patterns uh, the ones I like for this one that I've been seeing working are our four vertical lines straight down like so. So that gives us a 5460, an 8793, a 1, 2, uh, 1026, and a 4359. 
we'll go ahead and we'll do exactly the same pattern on our translator grid our four vertical lines straight down like so that gives us a 0915 a 2348 sorry a 3248 a 6571 and a 9804 like so all right so there you go there we have the north carolina evening lottery pick four uh, let's go ahead and do our second state example uh, so you can see that run through and the next one we're going to go ahead and do is uh ohio and we're going to do the evening lottery again and we're going to start with that same date base date we're, we're doing the uh the 6th of april here definitely you can go ahead and you can change it up see which base base date works best for you in your bank tracking but in Ohio, we had an 8758. So we take that number, we put it top left to bottom right on the back base grid. And then we're going to apply that plus 3, minus 3 pattern again. So everything on the right, we're going to add 3 to it. All these blank spots. So we start with the 8. We've got three, 3 blank spots to the right of it. So 8 plus 3 is 1, or 11, so we take 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, and 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10, so we take the 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. And finally, 5, 5 plus 3 is 8. Put that in there. Left hand side, we're going to subtract 3. So 7 minus 3 is 4. 5 minus 3 is 2. 2 minus 3 is 9 in lottery numbers. And finally, these last 3 on the bottom 8 minus 3 is 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. And 2 minus 3 is 9. Now, the one I like about the uh, Ohio Evening Lottery here is you'll see where uh, we've got several doubles in here. And if you saw the traveling numbers, the pick four straights and the pick three straights uh, were hitting a lot of doubles. So this rundown works really well with that as well. We're going to go ahead and use our mirror numbers again. So we'll look up every single number, find the mirror number for it, fill it in the translator grid. So eight becomes a three, one becomes a six, four becomes a nine. And 7 becomes a 2. 4 becomes a 9. 7 is a 2. 0 is a 5. And 3 is an 8. 9 becomes a 4. 2 becomes a 7. 5 becomes a 0. And 8 becomes a 3. And then that's exactly the same line. 4, 7, 0, 3. We're going to go ahead and apply our vertical patterns again for the Ohio's. So we've got these four verticals that come straight down here. So that gives us an 8499, a 1722, a 4055, and a 7388. We could do exactly the same on the translator grid, those four vertical patterns straight down like so, gives us a 3944, a 6277, a 9500, and a 2833. And there you see them, eight doubles all there. So if you, as that, if you saw the traveling numbers, you know how popular the doubles are in the traveling numbers right now. So um, uh, it's good to see Ohio getting a lot of those doubles out of this rundown. So there you go, there is North Carolina, there is Ohio. Definitely go ahead and give these a try. If you're in those states and you're tracking them, definitely let me know down in the comments below if they're working for you. Let's go ahead and do our scratch off ticket now. Uh, so you'll see, uh, we'll see if we actually won anything. We've been hitting pretty good on the Indiana Hoosier Lottery scratch off tickets. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. This is, as I said, it's a new card. It's the $500 Frenzy. Uh, loaded with $500 prizes. Wouldn't be that be nice to win a $500 prize. Uh, we are looking for a money bag symbol to win the prize instantly, a 2x to win 2x for prize, and a 5x to win 5, 5x for prize. All right, 20 chances to win. Our first number we're looking for is unlucky number 13. Hopefully it won't be unlucky for us. The next number is 44. Next number is 39. Then a 10 and a three 
All right, let's go ahead and see what we've got here. Four lines of five stacks of bills. 47, we didn't need 47. 46, we didn't need 46. Let's keep, keep counting down, then maybe we get to 44. 49, no, wrong way. Three, all right, so we've got a winning card. This is another winning card. I think that's almost, uh, I think it's almost two in a row. No, three in a row. Wow, all right, three. So this is a winner. We'll come back to that and see what we won out of that in a minute. All right, 30, we didn't need that. Let's keep going, see if we have any more numbers. Six, nope. Four, nope. 14, no, we need a 13. 34, nope. And eight, no, so nothing on the second line there. 40, nope. 33, no. Seven, nope. 43, nope, we need a 44. And 11, so nothing there. Still just that one number there. All right, next we've got 17, nope. 41, nope. 38, no, we need a 39. 31, nope. And finally, oh, a 2x. So what does 2x mean? 2x is 2x the prize. All right, so we've got two winning spots. We've got a 3 and a 2x. So this is definitely going to be a good one. Let's start with the 3. Let's see what our prize was for 3. $30. All right, I am more than happy with $30 off of a $5 card. That is fantastic. All right, let's see what we get on the 2x here. And $10, so $20 out of that, $30, that's a $50 card on a $5 card. All right, that is a definite win for us today. All right, fun new rundown uh, for a couple of states. Definitely give it a try in your state. $50 off our scratch-off card. Today is a happy day, uh, so I am going to be going ahead and celebrating with that. Uh, definitely let me know down in the comments below if it's working for you. Thanks for to everyone giving me thumbs up and subscribing and sharing these videos. Truly appreciate that. Uh, I've got more uh, rundowns to come. Uh, we've got some more group numbers. We've got Easter coming up, so we'll do some nice things for Easter. But definitely subscribe, share. Uh, good luck, and I'll catch you on the next one.